Let's try to understand how to write the table of values in the t-chart as ordered pair. So normally, let me show you a t-chart here. Let's say we have a t-chart which is like this and on one side we have term number. So let me write term number. And on the other side we have the terms. Now I'll do the first one for you. The next two you should do yourself. So in this t-chart, the combination of term number and terms is called the ordered pair. So the question is, which ordered pair belongs to the table of values described? Is start with 3 and add 2 each time. So term number 1 is start with 3. Term number 2 will be add 2 each time. right? So term numbers are in sequence like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Now this is the rule by which terms will be written here. So it says start with 3 and add 2 each time. So that means the first term is going to be 3. And then the next will be plus 2, right? So we will do plus 2 to this and get the next term, which will be 3 plus 2, 5. And then again plus 2 will give us 7, plus 2, 9, and so on. Correct? So that becomes your t chart and in this ordered pairs are like 1 comma 3 so I'll write this ordered pair as 1 comma 3 I will write this ordered pair as 2 comma 5 and next one will be 3 comma 7 and this will be 4 comma 7 9 so this is 4 comma 9 so it really means that term number 4 is 9 now the choices given to us are 4, 3, 4, 6, 4, 9, 4, 11. So we find that the fourth one actually is 4, 9. So this is the correct answer, right? So that is how you have to get your answer. Understand? Do the next two yourself. So make your t-chart and then find the answer, right? It says start at 10 and subtract 2 each time. Choices are 3, 10, 3, 8, 3, 6 or 3, 2. So you have to find what is your third term for this rule, correct? Then C is start with 3 and double each time. So this is your next question and the choices are 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 3, 12. So write down your answers and then see my suggestion. Now this is how you can do. I have already told you about part A. In B, it is start with 10 and subtract 2 each time. So what you can also do is, you can write first 10 and then subtract 2 each time. So you can write 8, 6, 4, 2 and so on. Now here, which is your third term? We are asking for third term. This is term number 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So 3, 6 is the right answer. So you can circle that. So that is how you can find your answer, right? Next one is start at 3 and double each time. So here also you can make a pattern that is 3 and then you have to double each time. So next term will be 3 times 2 which is 6 and then next will be 6 times 2, 12 and then 24. And you want the third term. These are the third terms. So this is first term, second term, third is 12. And therefore, the answer should be 312. I hope you understand the method by which you can do it, right? So this is one way of doing, and that's the alternate way of doing. It's up to you. So we have another practice question for you. Move on to the next one. Thank you.